Poland's presidential plane was en route from Warsaw to Smolensk. It was carrying the country's president, Lech Kaczynski, and his wife, Maria Kaczynska. They were accompanied by a delegation of Polish top officials, including Poland's army chief, central bank governor, deputy foreign minister, MPs, and leading historians. No one survived the crash. The plane came for landing in thick fog. Reportedly, the pilot made four attempts to land. The plane hit the treetops, fell to the ground and broke up into pieces. It was landing in the conditions of fog. The traffic controllers of the Severny airfield suggested the plane should be sent to Minsk for landing, but the crew made the decision to land in Smolensk. Rescuers and investigators are working at the site. Russian President Dmitry Medvedev sent condolences to the Polish people and promised to cooperate with Poland in investigating the crash. Prime Minister Putin will chair the state commission in charge of the investigation. Prosecutors are looking into three possible reasons – bad weather conditions, human error and technical faults. A tragedy happened. The Russian president and prime minister spoke to the Polish prime minister Donald Tusk, expressed our condolences to the Polish people and the victims' relatives. We set up a governmental commission to investigate the reasons of the crash. We will do everything possible to solve all the issues quickly. The presidential plane was 20 years old. It was fully overhauled in December in Russia. Warsaw is set to conduct an independent inquiry and has asked Russia to provide its experts full access to the site. Meanwhile, Russians are bringing flowers to the Polish embassy in Moscow. <laughs> Under the Constitution, there would be an early presidential election. The Speaker of the Lower House of Parliament, Bronislav Komarovsky, would become acting president. The Polish delegation was flying in from Warsaw to mark 70 years since the Katyn massacre of thousands of Poles by Soviet forces. The presidential plane crash has already been named the biggest catastrophe of its kind. But as many people say, we are yet to understand the full scope of this tragedy. Svetlana Kurkina, Press TV, Moscow.